instead of me introducing you. All right. We're going to hear from Eric. Hey there. My name is Eric. I'm a nursing assistant on Six Neuroscience, and I just want to tell a story um, that I experienced a couple years ago. I was working with an MG patient, and it was right at shift change, and as MG patients often come in, I developed a relationship with this gentleman like I have with this lady here, and um, just wanted to go in and check on him um, right before I left work. I yelled out to get some help, and um, after things, we got him back, and um, things took our us. We, uh, we found out that he tried to call out several times to get some help, but the, um, but the person answering the phone um, couldn't hear him because he could not speak to the social courts were failing him. Um, so really, I think my message is just to make sure that you, you're checking in on your patients, and um, even if it's not a routine thing, like someone with MD like, really needs some routine monitoring, just like their medication that's just so vital, so we're checking in on them, making sure they're breathing and able to do things for themselves. And, and um, yeah, if I hadn't went in that room right then, this gentleman probably wouldn't be here today. And, uh, well, you know, I think that's one of the things that's so surprising with my senior gravis, is that you can be sitting talking to someone and we can be fine. Mm -hmm. And then the next moment, because of um, choking, like for me, choking, choking is a big one that comes up where um, you don't necessarily hear me choke. It could be on my own saliva, and all of a sudden, I'm not breathing. Um, so it's like you, you, you don't know how, how significant and quickly a change can happen. How do, you, do you ever give any thought to how patients that live alone can deal with those things? I think it's very dangerous. Um, yeah, I don't know. They just would have to develop a almost like a sixth sense, you know, like a heightened awareness of their body and and knowing like just the meticulous little details and meticulous little shifts and changes that that will lead up to something that can be a, a greater a greater negative outcome, you know. Right. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true. It's um. Hmm. Anything else that you want to share out there with? Anything about MG? That's pretty cool. Like, awesome. Yeah, you. Save somebody's life with MG. Yeah, it's a day in the life. You know, no I mean, I, I, I was saying to you earlier how I've kind of come to take for granted the, cer the, the care that I get here. You know, all I have to do is text my neurologist or email my neurologist and say, uh, symptoms are increasing rapidly. Mm -hmm. Time for plex. And the next response I get is scheduling. Wow. You know? And, and you know, I'm in contact with people, the snowflakes around the globe. And, and they're, they don't have access to this kind of care. Mm -hmm. What do they do? You know, how do they... How do they learn to take care of themselves when they don't feel like somebody has their back? Yeah, I don't know. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I've i had to drive hours for treatment throughout my life, but now I feel like I have a doctor who has my back. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess what I'm trying to do is, how do we educate the medical population out there so that these people are being taken seriously? They know their life's in jeopardy, mm -hmm. but, but there's medical professionals all over that don't understand my senior gravis and, and no, will go by textbook information and we all know there's nothing about my senior gravis that is textbook. Yeah? Yeah. There's a lot of other factors too that the textbook won't fill you in at. You know. yeah. I don't think it is adam as adamant about making sure medications are given on time. You know. Right. Like that is just huge, just like Jennifer had spoke um, with you about. Yeah. And it doesn't tell you about that scenario that I spoke of, you know, like what to do in those situations. Like, and since then we've made sure that people are aware, you know, like if someone doesn't answer when you ask them, do they need something, then you go check on them. You don't just think that that's okay, you know, because mm -hmm. um, a lot of times it's not. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. Thanks You're for welcome. being part of my team.
always on the I side. appreciate it. Yeah.